This was a showdown between Mitt Romney and, and uh, Rick Santorum on a very significant debate. And Mitt Romney was a winner by a significant margin. He came in better prepared. He remained on offense all night. He knew his brief. He was able to go on, on the attack against, against Santorum very, very well. I think he was a dominant figure in a hall that seemed to be dominated by, by pro-Romney supporters. On the other hand, Rick Santorum, who had had some terrific debates leading up to this, uh, seemed nervous tonight coming out of the gate, and he couldn't quite get into the groove on the economic issues. And in particular, it was interesting how Romney and then Ron Paul managed to make Rick Santorum defend himself as a legislator and put him smack in the middle of Congress. I don't think that served him well. One last question, Anderson, though. I think this did help Romney uh, in Michigan. I think it's going to help him on Super Tuesday. Uh, but did it help him looking toward November? I think that's a tougher question. There are a lot of women out there tonight on Twitter who believe that these candidates really live in the past, that they're men who sort of don't understand the women's rights movement. And it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, it will indeed. Uh, Eric Erickson, let's check in. Eric Chief for RedState.com. Eric, uh, you haven't been a fan of Romney all along. Do you think he did particularly well tonight? I think between Santorum and Romney, he did much better than Santorum, particularly in the first half. Santorum seemed to find his footing in the second half of the debate, but in the first half, he stumbled a lot. He was nervous, I think, anticipating the attacks, and the attacks came. I think Romney was very smart to get Rick Santorum to defend voting for Arlen Specter, something that won't go over very well with Tea Party groups. At the same time, though, I think we saw the same dynamic we saw in Florida. When Gingrich and Romney went after each other so negatively, Santorum and Ron Paul shined a little brighter in Florida. And tonight, I I really think Gingrich probably shined a little brighter than the others. He came off as the statesman that we haven't seen in a while. He had some very good lines, and he kept bringing everything back to Barack Obama. Uh, is it enough for him on Super Tuesday? Probably not, but he may have just locked in Georgia and Tennessee, which is all I think he really is expecting on Super Tuesday.